What's up, Survivor Fanatics? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and we are back with subsistence. And I've done a little bit of, um, tiny bit of building in here. Um, I went ahead and rearranged this room. I took the window out of there, and I just put it over here for the time being. And I went ahead and put some shelving units in there, made another generator, put it on there. We're going to run both these generators. You're better off making a second generator and running it than running the generators at overdrive. Um, the reason I'm going to be running these generators, though, is because I want to lockpick, like, ASAP. Um, we're going to be going out, and I'm going to be looking for um, key uh, lock chests today. Now, there's two places I can go for lock chests, all right? I can go... Hold on, let's get on the roof so we can look around. I can go that way for a lock chest, which is where I found some over there. Or I can go all the way over there to the birch forest for a lock chest. I think I'm going to go this way. Um, a lot of people are telling me there's a lot of lock chests in the birch forest. Um, you know, maybe I should go that way just because it would be new. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. It should be pretty safe. I'll knock on wood. Relatively safe. I didn't remember to look for uh, rogue hunters. Um, but the, yeah, the birch forest, I think, is like somewhere in this area. I mean, it's a long run, but I think we might, I think we might want to do that today. And we're going to be looking for lock chests, but today's video is really going to be about doing glass, okay? I want to go ahead and put some glass in here and start encasing uh, this room, this, like, grow room or whatever. It's, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Grow room seems to be pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that in encased in glass today, or at least as much glass as I could possibly make. Um, it's really expensive, by the way, to make the glass in this game. And then, like, look at this, man. That takes, like seven pieces of glass panels i mean that's pretty freaking expensive as a matter of fact i should probably while those generators are on i should probably go down and swim and see if there's any glass down there so let me go do that now and by glass i meant sandstone obviously <laughs> there is some down here so that's cool all right i see a couple uh crates up here so let's go grab those as well they got a shoddy because there is a wolf in the area thank god knows what else okay let's avoid him as best we can i took like half the day to grind out um, yesterday so I'm gonna start taking more and more days to grind out because man I got a lot of stuff to get here a lot of stuff to get we're already in November and we are not ready for the winter oh there we go speaking of awesome let's go plant it oh crap I'm gonna have to break something up to plant this should I destroy a crop to plant this right now I don't think I should because this one, you know, cotton seed is not going to make or break me for the winter. So I don't like... Because when you destroy a plant, you don't get the seeds back. So, um, yeah, that wouldn't be very cool. Yeah. Let me just uh, see if there's anything that's almost done. If there's not, maybe I'll destroy a seed. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Those are almost done. I'll wait for those onions. Okay. Let's get going. We've got a hell of a run ahead of us today. Th this might be foolish trying to go out this far. But... I'm going to give it a shot anyway. We'll see. Uh, I have a buddy. Uh, I don't know if, actually, I don't know if it was in Discord or if it was in the comment section of my videos. I think it was in the comment section of my videos. Um, someone was telling me that they live by the birch area over there. Um, basically, there's two big lakes on the map. One all the way to the west and one all the way to the east. I'm west side. Okay, and this dude's east side. And he said that there's always, always locked chests around that birch lake. Birch forest lake or whatever he called it. Um, so that's where we're going to be going. I did look at a map, and it is all the way down this way. Um, if I don't, like, really stop the dilly-dally, I should be able to get over there pretty quickly. All right, I'm not going to ignore a chest when it's right in front of me. That's for damn sure. I've just been following the, the fencing down. Might be the best way to go, honestly.
Just saw a wolf up there. He's kind of looking around, but I don't think he's stalking me. Oh, beautiful. Cool. That is very cool. Now, there is a lot of these nodes around, but I can't really take time out to hit them that much. I'll hit them if they're right in my way, but I won't any other way. Let me show you where I am on the map once I feel somewhat safe. Alright, it should be okay. Yep, that's where I am. Now, it should be up here somewhere, I think. So we just gotta go up that way, I think. Let's go find out. Okay, here we are. Check it out. This is the, what, east side lake, right? I'm trying to think of the map in my head. Yeah, this is definitely the east side lake. And this is where people tell me I should be living. Well, one guy told me. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it looks like a nice spot, you know? It's kind of probably got everything that my lake has going for it. The only thing I wouldn't like about living over here is I don't know the terrain. But, you know, that would, <laughs> that would be fine after a while, right? Anything over there? Uh, I do see a chest over there. So let's go get it. It looks like you can pretty up... You could see off into the distance pretty decently here. That's a plus. That's a major plus. I wonder if he means like actually over there. Because those are actually birch trees. Alright, I'm going to grab this, this crate. And then we're going to go over there and check out those birch trees. Okay, we've got a weapons crate. We, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time out here. We're going to have to, like, start heading home relatively soon. I think it's about noon. It took me almost half the day to get out here. Although I did have to dilly-dally in the morning, but... The thing is, I can't go... I can't go straight back to my base. Although, if I hug the fence, that will take me right back to my base. So even if it's pitch dark... I'll probably be cold, though. That's the problem. But, um... Seeing won't be an issue, because if I could just hug the fence... I could probably get back relatively safely. I don't think there's... There's usually no animals by the fence. And I mean, I've never seen a hunter by it either, so... So let's come up into this birch forest and see what's what. Okay, we're almost up in the birch forest. And let's see. Man, I wish I had more time out here. That's a problem. I probably won't come out here again. It's just, it just takes too damn long to get out here. Oh, yeah, this is a really nice looking forest. Hell yeah. There you go. Wow. You were freaking right, man. Holy crap. I'm going to kill this wolf too. Well, maybe I won't have to. Am I going to have to kill you? I'm going to wait one more second, see which way he goes. Okay. Wow, man. You were not kidding, dude. I came up here one second. I found a freaking lock chest. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have what I need. It's got some interesting stuff, but not exactly what I need. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought multiple keys, right? Because <laughs> I could probably stay up here a little bit longer. Um, I came up here for a lock chest, though, uh, and it's kind of hard to tell what time of day it is. It's probably not quite noon yet, but almost noon. I am going to head home, though. I really don't want to get stuck out here during the night. Um, but yeah, man, that's um, that's not too bad. The, the only problem is it takes me so long to get out of here. And I still didn't get any cotton, but I did get two cotton seeds today, so that's... That's pretty dope. By the way, you might wonder, if you're wondering why I'm in the middle of the water, it's because there's a rogue hunter out there. Looks like he's fishing. So we're going to try our best to avoid his punk ass. Um, also, there is a cave system in this lake, in case you guys are wondering. Because you might be thinking, well, Cage, you have the cave system, and they don't. Now, this has a cave system, too. Pretty dope place to live. Got a weapon bag here. What you got? Beautiful. Love it. Another weapons bag here. Let's see what you got. Love those arrows, man. Oh, er people keep telling me to upgrade the recurve, though. I definitely will, guys. I just gotta... There's like a million things I want to do in the game, and, you know, only so many resources to go around. I will definitely upgrade the recurve, though. At least at first level isn't uh, overly expensive, so... I went to a Partially Royal stream uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, um, Partially Royal's been playing this game, right? So I let him know when he's out of stamina, you know, chop trees, right? I went in his comment section on his, you know, subsistence video, and I said, when you're out of stamina, cut trees, right? So then I go to his I go to his stream, right? And he's streaming on YouTube and he's playing the he's playing Mist. And I was like, hey, what's going on? He's like, hey, it's Cage, you know. And then he was like, Cage, you told me to chop trees when I'm out of stamina. This is Mist, mind you, he's playing Mist. 
And he's like, you told me to chop trees and I'm out of stamina. He's like, chopping trees. And he says, it's taking down my stamina. And I, was like, I just started laughing. I was like, silly, silly royal. <laughs> Wrong game, bro. <laughs> it was really funny. I love when there's a box waiting for me when I come home. Beautiful. Let's go in and check that fire. Might be able to get a little bit more looting done before uh, nighttime. I'd still like to swim and look down for some more, some more sandstone. And we got to plant that thing as well. Oh, they're done. Those carrots are done, so I'm going to plant that. Uh, actually, i got two seeds now to plant. Oh, wow. That wasn't even close to being finished. All right, well, let's go plant these seeds right now, then, before we forget. And, uh, all right, man, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. We actually got some cotton today. That is beautiful. Be beautiful. And what is this? Onions? Okay. Onions are really important. We also need... Um, potatoes uh that's a thing of onions that's a whole thing of onions you know what i think we need to do a thing of potatoes do we do a thing of potatoes yeah there's one right there i need to make one more of those grow pl uh, plant beds by the way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some potatoes because to pay potatoes are my lifeblood as far as um you know actually how much do i want to do with the potatoes I don't know. Anyway, potatoes are my lifeblood as far as, like, breaking into hunter bases. You guys want to see a lot more of that. So, yeah. But onions are good for my carbohydrates. Uh, sort of tomatoes, but not, not as good. I just got a whole thing of potatoes there. All right, I think we're going to do a ha um, five of these, and we'll do three of these. I need to come up with exactly what I need, so I don't have to keep guessing when I plant these. I just planted them. Son of a bitch. I didn't leave this... Oh, all right, we're going to give up the potatoes. So we just lost two potatoes because we weren't paying attention. You got to pay attention, guys. You got to pay attention. <laughs> oh, well. It's still a good day. Let me go ahead and grab this uh, crate right here. Two crates. Ooh, both medical crates. All right. Is Cold Games taking some pity on me with the... with the? Oh, this is a dangerous area, by the way. Because this is exactly where that jerk comes in to fish. So let's grab this and get the hell out of here. I'd hate to have to quick draw on him again, shoot him in his stupid, ugly face. Remember last time? He's like, pow, 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 miss, miss, miss. And I'm just like, what? Quick draw. I'm like, freaking, no, not Wyatt Earp. I'm like, uh, Doc Holliday. I have two guns, one for reach of you. Hey, guys, everything's going just swimmingly. I'm getting a lot more glass and iron. I'm actually low on iron now. Uh, before I restarted my world, copper was the problem. Now it seems like iron is the problem. When am I going to make bacon and eggs? I don't know. I'll get around to it. <laughs> I'll get around to it eventually. I need to kill some big animals at some point. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that today if I if I find the opportunity. All right. There we go. Got the generator going. Yeah. All right. We got we to leave that generator going as long as this stuff's doing its thing. So we'll leave that going for the time being. All right. Let's come out here and see what's going on. I do want to get that chest over there although i do have a lot of stuff on me remember you die you lose a certain amount of things so if you're gonna go out and you're not building don't have a lot of stuff on you there's no there's no reason to now i know I, i'm saying that and i probably won't abide by it i'll probably forget but you know do as i say not as i do right i actually never do of looking for more um more sandstone either i gotta do that eventually that is a medical bag so we definitely want to try and grab that and watch out for hunters while we're at it. I really hate these dickheads coming over here. I wonder if we could wall off. I wonder if we could wall this off. I wonder if I made a wall going from one big rock formation to another. And then out here, if I could just wall this entire area off. You think I could do that? You think I could get it? You think I could wall that off? I mean, I know it'd be super expensive, but... Hell, you guys are watching the videos and thumbing up. Thousand freaking likes. I mean, <laughs> to hell with it, man. I'll go big. I don't care. You know, You know me. So, I don't know. I don't know if that would work. I'd hate to do it all and not have it work. I need to grab this. I need to make some more solar panels eventually, too. I'd like to make three more solar panels and another wind turbine. Faux show. Don't know when that's going to happen. All right. So, let's get on up there and let's see what we got going on. Um, you know what? Let's just put down some glass. I think it's time to lay some glass, people. You know, Heisenberg style. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make glass grade. Come on. There we go. All right. So, what do we need for the glass? First of all, let's make sure this is okay. It is not. Why is that not okay? I don't have a lot of wood either. Oh, wait. I have a lot of wood. I didn't see it on me. 
That's one of the things I probably shouldn't have had on me when I went outside. <clears throat> but, what are you going to do? It's all done now. Alright, so that's going to be over soon. We could probably turn this generator off. Should we chance it? You know what, I'm not going to chance it. Well, let, hold on. Let's see how much power we're, we're losing with the generator. Um, yeah, it... I, I'm sure it would be okay. But the thing is, why take the chance? Because if the refrigerator goes off, you know, all your stuff is gone. So, it's just not worth it. Alright, so, I'm going to need a glass wall. Oh, I need this as well. I'm going to need a glass curve. Let's just make these one at a time and place them. Since I've never done this before, I'd like to take my time and do it right. Uh, how's my food looking? It's looking okay. Kind of top it off there, why not? Is that him, or is that a wolf? No, that's a wolf. Someone said I should put a claymore over there. That's what I should have done. I didn't know you can't set off you, you can't set off your own claymores. So, there's that. Uh, I'm only gonna have enough glass to do one side. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do this side. Okay, and there we go. Oh, beautiful. And still getting 51% light. 42%. Yeah, I don't really think it matters. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one. And I'm going to put it here and I'm going to make sure... You guys told me the glass doesn't block the light. It wouldn't make any sense if it did, I know. But I'd still like to check just to make sure. Okay, come on. Almost there. We're almost there. Glass wall. And we have enough for one more glass wall. Alright. Put that right there. Alright. Really quick. Uh, 42%. 51%. It, it enhances the light. Wait, does it really enhance the light? No, that can't be. It's probably just it's probably just when the light seemed to, you know, when the sun seemed to move up in the in a certain position. And there we go. 60 51. Okay, cool. Cool. Now I can only make one more thing. I'm going to make this one right here because I want to see if that's the one I need for the corners here. I don't. I probably should have put it on the other side. The reason I put it on this side is because it would be easier to get a screenshot. So. <laughs> okay, let's see. These things are hella expensive, too. That's why we need more sandstone. Yep, that is the one I wanted, right? I believe so. Okay, and put it right like that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Is that the way I'm supposed to be building this stuff? I've never messed around with this stuff before, so... I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. All right, guys. Now that we got that all taken care of, I think I'm going to use the recurve bow a little bit more. I kind of want to get this bear out of here first. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Oh, boy. Shoots right in the butt. Right in the head. Okay, bear's down. Uh, how many... Oh, hunter's over there. He should be okay. He's not going to see me gut this bear. We should probably shoot the hunter just for the lulls. Should we shoot the hunter with the bow? Hmm. It's a good question. I, I really don't want to deal with the revenge attacks. I... I oh, boy. I could just clock... I could just put it right in the back of his dome. How the hell would he even know it was me? That's the question. Like, they wouldn't know it was me. What the hell do they know? Oh, I gotta repair that. I don't have any um, wood with me. It's okay. We'll get some. He should be over there. He should be alright. I don't think he's gonna care too much. Was that too low or too high? I can't tell. I think they're too low. Go, you run away. Just hope that hunter doesn't screw with me. I don't see him anymore. Oh, damn it. Damn. Well, I guess I'm going to get revenge attack tomorrow. <laughs> what am I going to do, you know? This fucking guy. You just... They're, I'm so nice to let them even fish in my freaking place. Like, I let them fish here. And then he comes over and starts shit. You know? Like, what's your problem, dude? What a dickhead. Oh, boy. He got close. Alright, you're done. 
Ah, oh, what a douche. I really didn't think he'd go... Like, he really went out of his way to come get me. He wasn't even really close to me. It was very, um... Very interesting. Now, will they revenge attack the same day? They won't, right? I don't think they would. Like, how would they even know? Like, they're gonna know instantly? Like, I don't know, maybe. You think my arrow would still be over here? Yep, it's right there. Alright, then. Well... You see, I don't like the revenge attacks because it makes me want to stay home. You know, that's the only thing I don't like about it, but... What are you going to do? That guy started... Sh I was getting revenge attacked anyway because if he sees you, they're going to come after you. So, it's kind of irrelevant. You might as well kill him and get the loot. Oh, well. Fair enough. I'm just wondering if they will revenge attack the same day. I don't think they would. I've never been revenge attacked the same day. It doesn't mean they won't. It just means it's never happened. So, you know, we'll see. Knock on wood. Knock on this tree. I'm going to try and get some uh, wood and maybe find a crate with some nails in it. So I can repair my uh, my base a bit. should probably make that doorway, that entranceway. Where the, th that's always where the bears beat on. I should probably upgrade that to metal. Sooner rather than later. Is it is it worth upgrading stuff to metal? Because we upgrade stuff to metal... Um, I'm sure it's tougher, but it also costs more resources to repair. So, is it worth it, or should I just get... Wood is, you know, wood. It's easy to repair, so... I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments about that. I'm curious. Now, what am I going to be doing next episode? I have no freaking clue. Um, probably a heavy looting episode, maybe. I could go after the bandits again. The problem is, I don't know how many days have passed since I went after that one bandit camp. It's got to be at least three days. Um, people, people say, like, three days, some people say four to five, four to six days, seven days at the most, so, from what I'm hearing, it's, you know, when you're gonna go after the bandit camps, um, you wanna give them about three to six days, three to seven days, to rebuild. So, I wonder when the last time I went after that camp over there was, cause I could probably do that tomorrow. I'll think about it. I mean, you, you guys don't know, because I do, I do off-camera farming, so, like, that's why, I can't just go back and watch the video. You know what I gotta do? When I from now on, when I attack a bandit base, I'm gonna. Well, you know what I should do, and I'll probably forget, is when I go after a bandit base, I'm gonna write down the day. It's that simple. Just do that. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. And then that way I'll know, like, okay, I attacked them on day 290, so from day 296 or you know 295, I can attack them again if I want to. I want to attack more bandits. Um, I, I gotta get. I, you know, what we need we need more plant beds because I gotta keep those potato. Oh, look at that. I got to keep those potatoes growing because I am really low on potatoes right now. Without potatoes, I can't make Molotovs. And without Molotovs, I'm not going in on bandit bases. All right, what do you got for me? Yeah. All right. You know what? I got two cotton seeds today. I will consider that a good day. You know, I got a lock chest. Lock chest didn't have too much great stuff in it. Uh, but I also got shot at from a bandit and lived to tell the tale. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to say it's a good day. That's all. There's so much stuff to do in this game. You know the thing is with this game? There's so much stuff to do, and people in the comments are like, do this, 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 and this. And they, they, they rattle off like 10 things that's going to take me days and days and days to grind for. And I'm like, yeah, I want to do all that as well. But it's really difficult, man. It takes time. I'm putting a lot of time into grinding, and even then, it's, you know, it's never enough, man. You just got to grind so much. The cool thing is, this game is addicting. It's like... It's surprisingly makes no sense addicting to me. Like, I mean, I, the game's fun, but like the fact that it's so addicting is really is really surprising to me. Like, very surprising. Like, I really look forward to coming on and grinding in this game. The days I get to come on and make the videos for this game are like the best days of being a YouTuber, and um, that's just awesome. You know what? I should probably grab a screenshot for the thumbnail. So, funny story about this video. Um, I forgot to do an outro. Also, when I was editing it, I was kind of all over the place. So if there were some problems with the edits, let me know in the comments. Um, it was a really heavily edited video. So I hope I didn't make any mistakes. I don't think I did, but I might have. Anyway, guys, <laughs> if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.